Hey guys, what's going on? Saren Games here. Thank you very much for the 368 subscribers, and to everybody who watched this How to Stay on Windows 10 until 2032 video, thank you to all of you as well. So, today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video about Windows 11 LTSC. A lot of people just want, want Windows 11, they don't want Windows 10 anymore, but they also don't want all the crap that Windows 11 comes with. And that's where LTSC comes in. LTSC was basically meant for businesses and for organizations that can't update the computer every second of the goddamn day, can't have a bunch of stuff running in the background, and they just want a usable computer. That's what LTSC is. Anyway, let's go into the main video. So I'm going to have links in the description, a link to the Windows ISO, a link to the activator for educational purposes. And then you've got Rufus, which if you haven't watched the Windows 10 video, this will basically make it so you can install Windows for a USB driver, a memory stick. So let's start by going to the link for the Windows ISO. Now this is English by default, but if you do speak another language, drop a comment in the comments section and I will send a link to the version of Windows. What you need to do, download the file. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to Rufus. Now you are going to need a USB drive for this. Realistically, I'd probably say 8 gigabytes is probably the minimum one you can get. So now that we've downloaded Rufus, let's plug in our USB stick. Let's just open Rufus. Here we select the disk and ISO image. We will select this one. Now I do want to say, because a lot of people might install Windows 11 on an older machine, if your laptop or computer is before 2015, then it's going to be MBR. If it came with Windows 10 or above, it's going to be GPC. So now that we've selected our ISO image, and now that we've selected our USB here, start here, we're just going to be selecting these two. Um, I always disable the data collection here, um, but I'm not going to do it for this video, but feel free to just deselect whatever you want. I am going to be showing the installation process and things like that in a virtual machine, so I'm not going to be using the USB, I'm going to be using the ISO image. Right, yep, so now our Windows USB is ready. Uh, again, I'm going to be creating a virtual machine, but you're going to be installing it on a normal computer. So just plug the USB drive in, and what you'll want to do is you want to turn on your computer or laptop. Uh, spam the F12 key. It might be worth doing a Google how to access the boot menu on your laptop, whether it's an Acer, Dell, HP, Lenovo, language to install. So I'm in the United Kingdom and we can do install Windows 11. There we go. So these are the options. You want to ignore the one at the bottom, the subscription one, Enterprise LTSC, you can uninstall Microsoft Edge. You can do it in IoT Enterprise LTSC as well but you just have to go on GitHub and find the right scripts. IoT Enterprise LTSC. It doesn't really make a difference which one you use, just use the IoT one as I'm doing. So you can create different partitions. You might have a lot of partitions and things like that. If you are installing it over your C drive, click the C drive. Most of you will have a bunch of partitions here, which I'm gonna show you what to do. So there you go. So we have partitions now. If you're doing a clean install, which I'd recommend you to do, just go ahead and delete the partitions. There we go. Next here. Now, the reason I'm taking you through the clean install process, if people are wondering, so I know there are a couple of comments on the Windows 10 LTSC video saying, you know, can you install this over normal, normal Windows 10? Can you just upgrade from that to that? You can. You can even basically upgrade from windows 10 ltsc to windows 11 ltsc if you want which if you want to do that you can but i wouldn't recommend upgrading from normal windows to windows 11 ltsc and the main reason is because in normal windows 11 normal windows 10 there's a lot of bloat where even if you've stripped it out there's there's still a lot of things that you can't remove that ltsc has already got removed right so we're now at the next step and it's restarting yep and we're now at the final step yep so we're in the uk and i use a uk keyboard you can add the second keyboard layout there if you want to typically keep it at one because i speak one language but if you do want one keyboard and if you do want another you can right so if you want to sign in with the microsoft account you can i'm going to create a local account so we do sign in options and domain join instead now you're not actually joining any domain but we, this is basically just 
the only way to create a local account, simply. And don't worry, if you do want to create local accounts, but you do want to use things like the Microsoft Store, or, or you do want to use any apps or sign into Office and things like that, you can sign into apps and have a local account at the same time. When you log into your Microsoft account into that certain app that you're using, it will give you a little prompt to say, do you want to sign in to your Microsoft account, or do you want to do it so it's apps only? but the Microsoft Store isn't going to be installed with this version of Windows. There is a YouTube video on my channel that just goes through how to install the Microsoft Store. Let's get down to creating the account. So I'm going to put my name and I don't want to create a password. If you had done that thing with Rufus where it lets you skip all the lovely questions, then you won't have any of this. So you can just skip to the next step if you want. However, for the people that didn't, let's deal with this and let's cry together. Ah, right, so after 10 long years, it's finally to the next step where we've got this message. It wasn't actually 10 years, but oh god, I'm, I'm ready to go to bed. Took too goddamn long, I tell you. Right, there we go. So, so Windows 11 LTSC is installed. And as you can see, we've got a fully working Windows operating system. And we're only using 2.1 gigabytes of RAM. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and take care.